these losers coming out? All you need to have is Matt and Jeff Hardy. Yeah. With some real men. Wait, 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 wait a minute. He's calling them boys, referring these guys as men, when you have Rob Terry and Gunnar Murphy in their faction. Those are like eight. I want to get that something off my <laughs> <laughs> Back then, your partner was just as worthless as... Partner? Oh, <laughs> uh, why do we always go back on TNA here? Because of... You remember training the old man's backyard? Begging for a job, just begging for a job, and back then your partner. <laughs> you know, TNA wrestling, our savior, the guy who was overpaid and overpriced, the washed-up husbands who came and left. Oh, wow. Looking over the true talent, who will go on to meet Jeff Hardy this Sunday in a world title ladder match? A ladder match? We'll find out tonight. What was that ever announced? He's <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Get it done tonight. Still holds. We're gonna do it. We oh, that was an edit. No, that was an edit. That was just a that was a botch left in. Okay, I gotta go back to that. That was horrible. Like, 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 he just fell off. He knew it coming. He was going to look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He hesitated, then he, then he waited to the right time, then he put himself in the table. Man, that was a horrible, horrible table. I'm going to mention that by three minutes, but how much we go down series and by super comeback? I'm going to miss almost the entire match. Oh my god, he's so, he's like so monotone and boring on the mic. Shut up. Like Kim Kardashian on the mic. That was a horrible, pointless promo. Pointless promo. My princess is going to be renewing her vows with her knight in shining armor. And Kurt, believe it or yeah, not, Kurt, yeah. I'm so not really excited for that. Part of this night. Not only saw that re re so renewing of their vows. What I'd like for you to do is walk that aisle like nobody, only the Olympic gold medalist can, and I like. <laughs> I just like, I would love for you to give the bride away. That simple. You beat me. I'm not saying no. You, 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 that made it, that's I making it you, so obvious that, that Jeff Jarrett's going to win. What's it going to be three good? days from now against all odds? Oh, Wait. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, against all odds is this Sunday? Apparently. Are you serious? I, yeah, I don't even avoid any matches announced at all. Oh, really? I wouldn't know that if they were defending them. Is this an elimination of the one falls to the fence? I have no idea. They, don't, they never really explain anything. Well, so far, this new knockout's looking really green. Mm -hmm. So it almost looks like she's kind of lost in there sometimes. Miss a spot or something? <laughs> I don't know if that's pretty safe, yeah, Jeff. So Your head is getting pretty fat. <laughs> have a match tonight. You wouldn't want to have to someone to get the butter out. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and TNA, it's a big deal when the title is on the line on impact. I think that's happened, I think that's happened well, actually, it's a past week, but I'm saying it never happens on a regular basis. This match should have been hyped up. They should have promoted this in advance. That there's gonna be a title match tonight. But I didn't even know about this until I saw the beginning of the show. Why does he still have that belt? Yeah, Hasn't he buried it enough? 
I mean, it's kind of hypocritical that every week he comes out with that belt when he clearly admits that he hates it. Okay, if, if, okay, here's the thing. Why does Jeff Hardy... Why does he get a rematch at against the Lodge? If he was, if he was the former champion... And he lost last week. Yeah, he got the rematch last week and lost again. Why does he also get a top shot again at against the Lodge? He didn't get a... He didn't win a number contendership match or anything. You ever notice how much ever since, like, after Genesis, how downplayed and, and how Matt Morgan has basically put on the back burner ever since then? Pretty much. He wasn't even on last week's episode. Oh, this match is so boring. Hey, uh, see, I'm going to bet you got a ref bump in this match. It's TNA. They can't go a week without a ref bump. <laughs> Especially Earl Hender. You know what's going to happen. <laughs> And, he, and Jeff Hardy's not just sitting on a ladder out the ringside for nothing. He knows he's going to get involved. Listen, I wonder if Eric... I wonder, dude, this is a habit that... Oh, oh, oh Ralph Bob! Oh. So predictable! And here comes Jeff Hardy. Here comes... Oh. Okay, they actually remember this kid? Or or he's doing... Because he's a, he's a bodyguard for Immortal. Doesn't Immortal have enough bodyguards? So they have Gun Murphy and Rob Terry all the time. They don't have to drop that anymore. Shouldn't the commentators be putting over the history between Yeah! Them? Yeah! This match, the conclusion of this match, did not really do anything for me to get me excited about seeing Jeff Hardy face Mr. Anderson. If anything, it built up more, more of a possible match between Matt Morgan and Hernandez again. Brian Kendrick is another dirty reject that we paid, that we paid so much time to see. Oh, oh, I know you're doing. Hey, Nick. Oh! Suicide? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he man? Uh, man, it's kind of weird. Suicide's the only person I've ever known to actually go from getting taller to getting shorter again. And then not only that, but getting taller again. <laughs> I wonder how he did it. Oh, another gimmick pay-per-view. Yeah, there's a there's the X Division match. There's not a single match on this card that even looks that even looks good at all. Dude, you didn't care about Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> yeah, I find it kind of weird that Robert Rue can just take himself out of the match and let Kurt Angle take a spot and Eric Bischoff just has no problem with that. Okay, basically TNA went to commercial around 10.25 and showing that these the two teams are on their way walking down the impact zone in the back. And that was like 20 minutes ago and the match now just started. Oh! Yay! Isn't this a diva match now? They just exchange their their signatures and finishers on each other. Oh, oh, oh this so stupid. Yeah. That looked really stupid. What's up with TNA all over ball shots? <laughs> Where's Crimson? Where's Scott Steiner? Where's Immortal? I mean, I mean, not Immortal. Where's Fortune? You know, we're finally Jesus. I love being late. Why is Scott Steiner here? He's not done anything. He really adds nothing to this feud. Yeah, he's been. All he's been doing is sleepwalking. Allowing, allowing his walk to take his foot in his throat for like five minutes. I mean, out of all the guys, like he's the guy that does not have a purpose in in, in fortune.